three uh, tubes on one rope and managed to get 12 people safely to shore and it was just awesome to see. The Okanagan River Channel has been faster than normal this year, having tubers calling in every day for rescues. The city, PIB and Coyote Cruises are taking it so seriously about what we need to do to ensure that we are COVID safe down there, educating people and then water safe as well. The water is flowing so fast that we needed to implement three measures. So we did more education. We now educate a lot more strongly at the top before people even enter the water. We have additional signage, so mitigation throughout their ride and float with us. Then failing that, we have staff now that are throwing ropes and it's, it's amazing to watch because people grab them and then they're now towed safely to, to shore. But the group is having challenges with floaters continuing to tie their tubes together even after being warned. It's shocking that we still see that. We have signage, we tell them, and yet people are still dangerously tying their tubes together. Um, no, we no had, we're all the same household and group, so we just tied all our floaties together. together. We had two paddle boards and two floaties, so we just tied everything together so we could keep together and be safe with yeah. each other. And we had some life jackets just in case anything happened. The, the bottom line is it's a beautiful outdoor experience for people. But they have to be smart and safe about it, and, and that's what we're trying to, to help. The channel is preparing for a busy long weekend coming up. For Castanet News in Penticton, I'm Casey Richardson.